Hey everyone, here's Kathy from Cassie Director and in this Cinema 4D tutorial I want to show you how you can create this awesome Cinema 4D multi-layered wrap cell render text. Yeah, it's a long title but it's a great great uh, title you can do. So let's get started. So first what you need to do is go and set up your light you can use any light you want. I have here now a softbox. Next we need to go and create a text. For that you go to MoGraph and go to Mo Text. It will create this text and here we go to Object and set the type to 250 till, um, 200, uh, till 300. Next we can Go and write our text. Choose our font. So when you are finished um, with your font, it should look like a def, very deep here. Next, go to caps and set the start to fillet cap. Step to 2 and radius to 2. And the same with the end. 2 and 2. Now we can go and apply our material. I have here a red metal material. Drag it on your text and it should look like that. Next you can go and duplicate your text layer. Go and select your text. Go to edit, copy and edit, paste. Here should be the second text layer. Go to fillet caps to the start and set the steps to 5 and the radius to 4 and the same with the end. Next go and click on this window here. It will open 4 views of your text and I will choose now here the side view or you can choose the top. and. Go to coordinates and to the position for the Z. And now you can go and see when we drag it around. I drag it a bit back, so like that. Next we can go and choose a dark material. I choose a, hmm, a black metal and drag it on. You can delete the red one. and. Next we can go click back on the perspective view here. Next is go and duplicate your second text again. So go to edit, copy, paste, go to the caps and set it to steps to 1 and radius to 6. The same with the end. Go to the object and set the depth to 20 and choose a gray material or any other material you want. I will choose now a orange so you can see what happened. Go back and click here on this window. Have a look for the top here. You can see here is the top view. And go back to the uh, coordinates and drag the Z back again. So maybe like this and then go and click edit, copy and paste and drag it back again. And do it till you go to the uh, end of your text. Click back on your uh, perspective view. It should look like this. So I made a little mistake. Be sure you have enough space between um, all your letters. So go to the first text and object. Go to horizontal space and play around with that. So, whoops. So maybe around 15. It depends on your text. I will use 15 and set this all to your other um, text too. Now go to your first text layer and click on the object tab here. Hold the button and go down to wrap. Go and 
make it a child of your first text layer so drag it down the arrow should go down it should look like that that looks creepy I now click on your text layer uh, on your wrap layer and go to tension and set this to 40 percent it should look like this go and duplicate the wrap layer and set it to all the other text layers as a child set the tension to 30 it's, it's better when you have a uh, lots of layers it should look like this here looks great huh next step is go into your render settings here go to your output and set your um, yeah make sure you have your size what you want to have I have HD next go to save choose our name so maybe wrap and location make sure you set the format to PNG because we need a transparent background and check on the alpha channel next go to anti-analyze and choose the enter anti-analyze to best go and choose the effects ambient occlusion and global illumination and cell render so for the first image we go and check off the cell render and we only need the ambient occlusion and the global illumination click on global illumination and go to irradiance cha charge and set the first one to low the second record density to low the smooth smoothing to weak and the overlay oversampling to minimal and on in general don't forget go and set the GI mode to ER plus QMC still image this year for the cell render I will show you later when we do this so when you have this go and render out your picture this year so here we have our finished rendered text it's maybe not the best but it, it looks okay right um, so go and click it away because you now you save it on your destination next go and go back to your render settings and check the cell render click there and make sure the edge color is white and the background color is black it's very important next go and render that out that should not take so much time be sure you go to save and save it and as another name so that is my cell rendered um, text looking like you can close this and now open these two files in Photoshop so when you have imported your two pictures it should look like that the first picture is the, re the cell rendered picture and when you shut down the eye it's the normal text go to your normal text layer double click there and go to well I do it go to gradient overlay and set the blend mode to overlay and the opacity of it down and the scale to 150 it should look like a bit more like professional so set the opacity to 60 hit OK it should look like this next go to your cell render when you set the cell layer to screen you get our sign like that so the um yeah so go and set the opacity a bit down so it should look like that maybe so I have it around 30 yeah 31 it looked like that if you want to have another cool effect go to overlay and you get this uh, yeah, it can set up the opacity so it darks the middle and light up all these edges I think that looks really good so 
Well, I set mine now to screen and 20% and when I go and save this now. And here I have the result of my cell rendered image with the screen and 20% of the cell render. I think it looks very cool and it's like, yeah, I can describe it. So. so if you like this tutorial, please comment and like this video. If you have tutorial requests, let it me know. Um, comment under my video and that's the best. So I hope I see you next time. Bye.